Hi there. So I'm going to show you how we can take these lovely resources that other teachers create, or you can use these with books, which is how I learned about this. Um, my daughter, when she was young and learning to read, we got a really fun Disney princess book, a really big, thick one. And um, what they did was they had flashcards in there and they also highlighted the words that went with the flashcards. So I went ahead and began highlighting all the words that I knew she could already read, like and and in and go. I think she could read at the time. But, um, it gave me this really great idea um, to use. And so I'm going to share that with you. So this so, is a table of contents for little stories that my nerdy teacher, Alina, created. That's her name, my nerdy teacher, Alina V. And I got these on the site called Teachers Pay Teachers. Obviously, you can get others, but I just wanted to give um, credit to this person whose resources I use. Okay, so as you can see, she's got little stories with questions on the bottom, but what she's got is um, very common, but I don't like to use these. Um, they're called high frequency words, so words just kind of, or sight words. Um, and it really depends on what level, uh, your child is. If they've already learned, um, to blend short vowel words with consonants, like maybe three letter words, four letter words, and this is the next level, understandable. But, um, for better practice, what I do, uh, is I look through these. I'm just going to show you a little bit about what she's got. Then I need to flip over to a different page real quickly. This is what I did. I went ahead and highlighted the words that I know my student can read. The words that I know are just short vowel and consonants. And the one last thing though is that letter A right here. It's right inside there. The hat had A tag. Uh, in the reading program that I compiled based on all my tutoring lessons, um, the end of it, I include words. There are frequency words, right? There are words that we're going to have to start understanding. They don't follow these rules, but maybe a next rule. So there's the word a uh, for one. Um, there's the word is, which has an S, but sounds like a Z, right? A Z. And there's also the uppercase um I, which stands for I myself, and that always has the same sound. So I added those to the reading program. So this particular student I highlighted these for already knows that. He may or may not know the S in this word is a Z. So I didn't highlight this in this entire set. Look at how many they can read. Pretty good, huh? So eventually they're gonna start reading some of the words themselves. So basically the thing is adult or somebody who's a better reader um, reads with them. And so one person has the ones that aren't highlighted and this, the student, the reading student is reading those that are highlighted. So with this, the highlighted ones are required of the student to read. And the ones that are not highlighted or for the adult or older reader. Now, if the student does read the words that aren't highlighted, that's totally fine, but we don't wanna expect them to until this level is more mastered. Okay, so I hope that that gives you a little bit of help and I will talk with you next time.